All right, first of all, I just want to thank you for participating in this survey. I know it's kind of a hassle on homecoming week and trying to fit everything in, so I appreciate your time. And uh, I'll kick this off real fast, kind of a collaborative meeting because they want to hear us talking and interviewing and seeing how we handle our principalship. So uh, how do you feel like the lesson went today? Um, I know it, you want to think, think that when you plan things out that it's going to go in a certain way and it never does. But I think it went as good as it possibly could have, you know, right. considering you know, you know, the kids are all at a hot and excitement with homecoming anyway. But yes, most definitely. And I said that in my introduction that to please excuse us for <laughs> it, it being <laughs> our dress and homecoming week because the kids are excited and of course we all want to participate in homecoming festivities because it's all about the kids you know so yeah. uh, again I appreciate you doing this for us uh, did you you kind of mentioned did you think it went according to plan or did you have to make some adjustments throughout I did um, mainly because the um, one of the things I thought that the book covered as in depth as my notes and it didn't but I adjusted and um, was able to you know, correct for that so right how do you encourage students when they display behaviors that you want to see? Usually by complimenting, um, thanking them for whatever commentary they're participating in. Right. Um, it's appropriate. And throughout the lesson, you had several kids that were excited and wanting to, right. to give the answers and, and whatnot, so that's always encouraging, wanting to see kids participate. Uh, how do you uh, discourage undesirable behavior and redirect students with a minimal loss of instructional time? Yeah. I usually ask them a question that's directed at what we're talking about and then um, just kind of remind them, you know, to be on task and then if it goes further then there would be, you know, disciplinary consequences coming a break or to make up whatever time they're causing a to be lost. Right. And uh, two things that I noted in my notes is one of them, you had a teacher step in and uh, <laughs> I think she dropped off a piece of tape, and you handled it really well, and uh, uh, you didn't spend a lot of time with her, and she just dropped something off, and then uh, towards the end of the lesson, uh, our main principal will come on, and uh, he was giving an announcement about the homecoming activity, so uh, it was kind of neat to see you adjust uh, in that aspect of things, and just keep go on, go with, go with the flow exactly, and stay on task, you know, and finish the lesson out, so uh, that was really encouraging to see. Uh, how did you adapt the lesson to address individual students' needs? Um, well, with the way that the lesson was designed, um, it included some different differentiation, and there's that that particular class has there are four kids with special needs, so I had right. to you know really gear it towards them and and give more visual or kinesthetic um, activities to help them stay engaged. So. Right. Most of my um, activities for that class have, you know, a visual, something to write, and some kind of movement or, you know, partner, sh or partner group work. Right. Well, and I knew that coming into this class. I knew it was a challenging class. And uh, what the video doesn't show is uh, Coach Brown and myself at the back of the room working uh, with those kids with special needs, helping them to get them redirected in the right direction exactly. and so that they weren't a distraction to the other kids. Right. Uh, at the front of the classroom, so that that was really uh, good as well. Uh, I'm going to kind of list out my expectation uh, uh, for you in this. Uh, I wrote, uh, "We'll provide differentiated instruction and adapt lessons to meet uh, the student needs," which we just talked about. Uh, this will help instructional needs of all students and help master the objective being taught. <clears throat> also, ensure that the learning is happening at a challenging level that is appropriate for each student. And with your tasks that you were doing on the boards, it was neat to see those kids, you know, asking questions, referring to the book, you know, and having to use their notes to go back and forth and find the answer. So that was really encouraging as well. As uh, far as checking for understanding, uh, what are the first steps you're going to provide differentiated instruction in the classroom? Um, usually my first step in assessing is uh, verbally. Um, Sometimes in a group setting, sometimes it's just me individually going around. We're, we're starting our independent practice, and I can gauge it more accurately. Accurately, where you know maybe they missed something in my explanation, I can you know handle that more on a one-on-one. -on -one. Especially with you know such different needs in that class, it's easier to handle. And there's and there's only ten, so right, that's right. a Small huge group. difference. Small group. Coach Brown assisting. Yes. You know 
obviously helps. I actually wanted to, <laughs> to help out as well too because I'm not a, a sit back on the sidelines yeah. sometimes when I need to be, but uh, I wanted to step up and help as well. But, yeah. but first it would be verbally, then I guess it would be um, just in the independent practice that we do and then we go from there. Okay, so who do you refer your questions to if you have questions about uh, differentiation in the classroom? Usually Miss Sweet. Miss Sweet. She, just because she has more experience and she deals with special ed a lot, so she knows more, I guess, better advice to do with right. dealing with those kids. And uh, do you have any questions about my expectations of what I've kind of, kind of laid out for this mm -hmm. collaborative meeting? No, it seems pretty clear to me. Well, again, I appreciate uh, you taking part in this. I know it's consuming yeah. some of your time, oh, but I'm excited to keep working with you in this yes. and seeing you take ownership in student learning. And again, I appreciate your hard work and your dedication to these kiddos and building those relationships. And uh, I just look forward to keep working with you. Welcome. Thank you so much.